Hey everybody, Jason Burmis here. And just when you think things can't get any more bizarre in this world, you have Congress now passing legislation saying they will no longer use the terms mother, father, brother, and sister in the halls of government. To me, this is pure madness. And what it really amounts to is a massive amount of censorship and then demonization against those who would dare to use traditional language that separates genders. Now, I know all of this sounds like absolute madness, but this actually passed, I believe, 217 to 206 down party lines and one of the things they included at the end was a man and a woman now don't get me wrong i know there's a lot of different theories out there of what a man actually means in fact if you watch the documentary the ring of power they believe that it's in reference to an old pharaoh long forgotten by history. Now, whether or not that's the case, I don't think that amen was set out to be some kind of masculine dominant term, but we're going to go over this video right now of Tulsi Gabbard on Tucker Carlson, not only talking about this madness, but then also talking about her upcoming bill that she introduced. And remember, she's not going to be in Congress that much longer in which it would be illegal for biological males to compete in women's sports. So without further ado, let's play this clip. A man and a woman. So if you thought a man was an ancient affirmation that had nothing at all to do with biological sex, stand corrected. How does this empower women exactly? That's a question that Tulsi Gabbard, who is a former congresswoman of, from Hawaii, a Democrat, has been pondering. She introduced a bill last year to stop biological males from participating in women's sports. That bill is expected to be introduced later this month. And we said former we didn't mean it because until January 20th, she still serves. And we're thankful for that. Congressman, thank So let's just stop it there. Again, I know Tucker Carlson is far from perfect. But what could you possibly disagree with what he just said? To me, this is not a right or left issue. And I know so many of you out there want to paint him as some kind of neo-Nazi, white supremacist, conservative type, right? And then you want to paint Tulsi Gabbard on the left as some kind of a Russian agent. It's madness. Thanks for joining us tonight. So how does it you, empower women to ban the acknowledgement that women exist? It, it absolutely does the very opposite of that and it's the height of hypocrisy for people who claim to be the champions of rights for women to deny the very biological existence of women wow now does that make tulsi gabbard a bigot for daring to state that biological fact i think it makes her more of a hero in a world that's upside down. And again, I don't think she's perfect, but I don't think she's wrong on this one, folks. And and this recent uh, rule change that the House just uh, actually voted and passed on today that you were talking about, removing references to, you know, mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters from congressional rules and administration, uh, it, it, it's mind-blowing because it shows just how out of touch with reality and, and the struggles of everyday Americans uh, people in Congress are, but also it, it shows that, you know, their first act as, as this new Congress could have been to make sure that elderly Americans are able to get the COVID vaccine now alongside frontline health care workers, elderly Americans right, so who have the highest mortality rates from this virus. But in Let's stop there. Now, this is somewhere where... I think that we have a disagreement. I don't think that the government needs to step in uh, any more than they already have via the coronavirus vaccine. But I will say this, there is no reason to limit the amount of speech in the halls of government ever, 
ever, ever. You don't like a certain type of speech. You don't like a certain perspective. Well, you are more than welcome to use your own words, your own speech, and your own perspective to try to explain why. When we start taking words away from the language, when we start demonizing the very humanity that all of us share, all of us at some point had a biological mother or father, even if they didn't raise us. Many of us out there have brothers and sisters we love. What in the world is wrong with using that language to acknowledge it? Instead of doing something that could actually help save people's lives, they're choosing instead to say, well, you can't say mother or father in any of this congressional language. It, it's, it's astounding. It's confusing, too, because the very people who claim to celebrate diversity, differences, and differences are what make the world interesting and worth living in, in my opinion, are the same ones trying to impose by force this creepy corporate sameness where we're all sort of widgets in a bin waiting for assembly. Like, do they really think there aren't differences between the sexes? Honestly, sincere question. Sincere question. Do they not think that there are biological differences between the two sexes? Now, I'm not sure he threw biological in there, but honestly, the vast majority of us know inherently there are many differences between men and women. It is right in our face. But to deny that is to pursue a transhumanist agenda, an agenda that is not transgender, but in fact one where you can be anything you want to be, not just a man or a woman. We have people now identifying and have identified for a long time as babies or dogs. They want this. Why? Well, they want to confuse the fact that we are biological entities that are dependent on one another for our survival and our ability to thrive as humans. Yes, both men and women are utterly the most important thing in that equation, period. Without them, our humanity takes a nosedive, in my opinion. And everybody out there knows that when you have a good nuclear family, and you can deny this all you want, you have a better chance of having children grow up to be better people. And when those nuclear families get together in neighborhoods, right, and become friends with one another and become a community, that community can also thrive. Now, when you sow division, confusion, when you say that men and women no longer truly exist and you can literally be whatever you want, well, that causes chaos, in my opinion. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to answer or explain what they think. And, and this is why Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen and I, we introduced my legislation, the Protect Women's Sports Act that you briefly mentioned, uh, out of a recognition that this legislation is actually necessary. When you look at uh, why Title IX was created, it was created out of this recognition that there is a biological distinction between men and women and boys and girls. And it recognized that because of that, there needs to be a level playing field for girls and women to be able to compete and play yeah. in sports. Now, now, the reason why our bill is necessary to strengthen and clarify and uphold Title IX is, is because of the things that you're talking about, because there are people who are trying to undermine the very reason why Title IX was put in place by denying my existence, exactly. <laughs> denying the existence of, of biological women. It's, it's, uh, it, it defies common sense. It defies basic yeah. established yeah. science. Uh, it, it just doesn't make any sense. And I'm going to leave it at that. I agree 100% that it just doesn't make any sense. Unless you're trying to pit human beings against one another. Unless you have a transhumanist agenda where they want to sell you that you can live forever in the cloud and your sex doesn't really matter and you don't need a traditional family. And you don't need to own anything either. Everything will be provided for you. The Great Reset, anybody? 
Well, I want to be a part of the great resistance. So folks, I'm coming at you from an undisclosed location outside of Washington, D.C. I will be heading there shortly. I'm still going to stay just a little bit out of, outside of D.C. Right now, I'm about uh, an hour or so away but I just don't want to be stuck in the middle of the city and not be able to get my car out. Um, from what I'm being told, it's almost a ghost town. Things are getting boarded up there. Uh, my sources from uh, the Action for Assange crew. And I just want to say this, guys. I want to thank you guys for making it possible for me to do this on a daily basis. Without you, I couldn't do it. So consider hitting the GoFundMe, support me on Rockfin, and remember folks, it's not about right or left. It's always, always, always about right and wrong. And getting rid of the language of mother, daughter, father, son is just plain wrong. Love you and see you on the flip side.